Hey, welcome back. New background, I know. I'm on vacation, but I wanted to bring you a video. Today we're gonna to be talking about Baby AGI again, but this time it has a brand new interface that is really easy to use, easy to install, and makes the entire process of using Baby AGI super easy. Let's get into it. So for those who don't remember, Baby AGI is an autonomous task management system very similar to AutoGPT. You give it an overall goal and it'll continue to iterate towards that goal, setting up tasks, reprioritizing those tasks and executing them over and over again until you tell it to stop. And it's really cool. It's still very basic. It can't do a whole lot in terms of execution, but the premise is there and the framework is there and it could be really interesting as this code base evolves. And it's one of the most popular repos on GitHub. So you know people are gonna to continue to fork it and extend it. So let's look at the tweet by the creator, Yoshiki Mira. It says, introducing baby AGI UI. And they have a little video about it here. So it looks identical to ChatGPT, but it is baby AGI. And so they use Next.js for the framework. They use Tailwind CSS, Pinecone for the vector DB, and lang chain to put everything together and there's two ways to do it you can launch it with vercel but we're going to do this locally and so we're going to click on the github i'll link the github repo down below and here are the steps to install it we're going to open up our terminal like usual we're going to navigate to the desktop so cd change directory desktop enter and we're going to come here and we're going to git clone the repo so we're just going to click this little copy text button we're going to paste it and it downloads the code base to our desktop. From there, we're gonna change directory into baby AGI UI. So now we're in the folder. We're gonna do npm install, which is a node command. So you do have to have node installed. And if you don't, please just install it. It's very simple. Just Google node install. I'll hit enter. It's installing all the packages and it's done. Okay, so next it says you have to uh, copy the .env.example file to .env and actually fill it out. But in the tweet, it says to fill out the API key in the interface itself. And I haven't seen a need to use Pinecone, but you can easily do that. It asks for two things and I'll show you that right now. So we're gonna copy this command. We're gonna switch over to terminal, paste, and that copies the .env file. So after copying the .env file, I'm gonna open up Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna open that file. And if you don't know how to do that, you just go to the top left, hit File, Open, and then you find it on your desktop and you click Open. So I'm not gonna fill this out because you can actually fill out the Open API key through the user interface. And Pinecone is not really necessary right now, but you're more than welcome to do that. So let's switch back to terminal. So the last command we're gonna run is npm run dev. That sets up the server to actually run the interface. So we're gonna switch back, we're gonna hit copy, npm run dev, hit enter, and there it goes. Uh, so the URL right here, http colon slash slash localhost colon 3001. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna open up a new tab, paste, hit enter, and there it is. Uh, very similar to ChatGPT like I mentioned. Over here on the top left, you can select the model. So we have the old model, DaVinci 003. We have the newer API model, 3.5 Turbo, the one that's 90% less expensive and very, very fast. And then we have GPT-4 if you have access to that. So we're gonna use GPT-3.5 Turbo for now. The number of iterations, you can have a set number or just let it run infinitely. Of course, keep an eye on your API usage if you do use it infinite. And the first thing we need to do is set our API key. So let's head on over to OpenAI, set up a new OpenAI key, and we'll call this baby AGI. We're gonna create the secret key. Please know I am gonna rotate this before publishing the video, so no need to tell me in the comments, but thank you. Copy, then we're gonna switch back to the interface, go to settings in the bottom left, paste our key, hit save, and we're gonna leave this as is. The first task is to develop a task list and we're gonna go with the example goal. So solve world hunger, hit enter. Oh, no, you actually have to click enter. And there it is. So objective solve world hunger, task list, develop a task list. And the next task is develop a task list. So right now it's figuring out what to do. And so there's our first result. Here's all the tasks that it thinks it needs to do. Conduct research on the root causes of world hunger, including economic, political, and social factors, uh, et cetera, et cetera, all the way down. And then next it prioritizes that task list. So it actually ranks them in order of importance and what it thinks it needs to get done first. And there's the 
prioritize task list. So analyze the impact of climate change on food production and distribution systems and develop strategies to mitigate its efforts. So it pulls the top task off the list and it starts executing it. So now it's executing the analyze the impact of climate change task. And there it is. So it talks a lot about how climate change affects world hunger. Now it's creating tasks again based on the last task, prioritizing tasks again. And there it is. That took a little while, but we have a very long task list now. So now the next task at the top of the list is develop a database of successful, sustainable agriculture and food security policies and programs from around the world. And now it's executing that task. So it, it's actually going and doing all the research, putting together the information, and now it creates the task list again. And so I'm going to stop it, but it'll continue doing that. So keep that in mind. Keep an eye on your API rate limits. And that's it. I just wanted to share this quick video. Baby AGI is very cool. So now you have a really nice interface to use it. It could not be easier to use. So I encourage you to play around with it, see what you could do. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.